Hello, this is Paulo from Sepultura, and uh, you're watching Bay Area Rocks. <laughs> you're watching Bay Area Rocks, and I'm Basie Stacy, and we're here with Paulo from Sepultura. How are you doing? I'm good and hungry. Good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> so how's the tour going so far for you? Uh, everything has been good, doing very well so far, you know, like I was saying before, and uh, for being so long uh, outside of America, and it's been, it's been very good so far. How long has it been since you guys have been here? 2006 was the last tour. Oh, that's a long time. Yes. So let's talk about the new album, Kairos. What does it mean exactly, and um, who produced it, and tell me about the artwork. Uh, it was produced by Roy Z. You know him, of course. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, Kairos means uh, a special moment, a, a period of time. And there's many, many other uh, other. Uh, meanings, but uh, this is uh, the the title that it came about. You know, that means weather in Greek means uh, uh, it's one of the Zeus sons, and uh, there's many many others. There's some, I think there's some uh, religion uh, involved as well. But uh, for us, it means uh, the special moment, the 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 right moment, of, I guess. And it's coming out when exactly? Uh, I think it's coming out uh, around June 21st, 22nd. In, in North America, about the same uh, in, the, in Europe and the rest of the world, I think, yes. And where did you guys record it? Everything was done in Brazil. Uh, we recorded in uh, Trama Studios in Sao Paulo, which is a studio that we record uh, more revisions, actually, in 1986. And uh, we did uh, Dante and Roar back there, too, as well. So it's a, it's a very unique place, and it's a, it's a very nice place we know everybody and it's a, always a good vibe to be there you know how many tracks are on the album uh actually i don't know 11 10 and uh, i think uh, i think 10 i'm not if i'm not wrong uh and we had uh we record two covers as well we record a uh, fire started by prodigy and ministry so what made you decide to get those covers on there or take you know, get that. I think it was uh, well, we we always think about so many different covers, but I think for the for the occasion and the moment, and uh, those two bands were like the the best choices at the moment. But we still, you know, we kind of put in a vote, and together with Roy, and uh, we end up uh, having that idea at the while of, of the pre production was going on. So I think for this moment, it was the best choice to do it. And you guys recently like uh, recorded or played live with an uh, orchestra, is that uh, right? Symphony. Yes, yeah, it was great. Uh -huh. It's a uh, new project that we've been working for about two years. And uh, we had 104 musicians. Wow. 100 from the symphony and plus those four. And we did uh, mainly Sepultura. We did, uh, I think, eight, nine songs of Sepultura. They, had, they started with Wagner. And we played the Beethoven, the Ninth Symphony together as well. So it was very good experience. It's something that project that we've been doing together with the film that we are putting together as well. And everything comes down the, uh, to <coughs> to the to the to the bow of the the, the instruments that is made by a Brazilian wood that is uh, it's been uh, almost extingu extinguished. Mm -hmm. And if we don't take care of uh, about that wood, and uh, in about 40 years they don't won't have the bows, the wood to 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 make the bows for the cellos, for the violins. So it's something that we've been working on, and and every every concert that we we start from now on to do it and work with this, it means that we can replant mm -hmm. uh, the trees and try to to bring back uh, for the upcoming future. So that's what the benefit was about, is that right? Yeah, okay. it's called, uh, the, the, the documentary is called the, I think it's, uh, I forgot the name in English now. Uh, yeah, you can say it in Portuguese. Yeah. Avore da Musica. Yeah. The Tree of Music, I think that, that's what it is, they call it in English. But it's a very unique documentary, and, and, and even that we didn't know the, the, how important that wood was, and that what the, the wood that gave the, the country's name, Brazil. It's oh called wow. the Wood Brazil, Pau Brazil. So the, that's what Brazil names came from, that wood, because it's very unique. It only grows in Brazil. Oh, wow. Certain parts of the country. Oh, cool. And then you guys also played the festival that's there every year in Brazil? And, and 
No, no, which is actually that was the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a very, the beginning of the, 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 to that idea that we finally got to put it together. And we did this event in, uh, in, in Sao Paulo. Uh, it was a free show that the, the city of Sao Paulo holds, the whole state actually holds. It's called the Virada Cultural, which is, uh, they have stages and performances uh, for 24 hours straight. Wow. So they have stages in all over the city, and uh, everything is for free. So it's all about culture, just theater, dance, music, all sorts of stuff that uh, people can watch everything for free. So and during this 24 hours. How many people usually go to that festival? Do you know? Uh, it's a lot. A lot. <laughs> I know when we played, uh, it was, uh, I would say, about twenty to 30,000 people. Wow. Yeah, so it's cool. So how has a Sepultura progressed since 1984 when you guys first formed and, and to now? We got fat and gray. <laughs> 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 uh, I think that <laughs> we're more, we're not, it's a natural progression. You know, as a, you start to travel a lot, play a lot, and uh, get to know different cultures, get to know different people, the, the, every, all of this we get, is going to reflect in your music and in what you do, you know. And... I think that's what it reflects in the new rack. It's, it's about this moment, of it's a special moment that uh, that we've been passed through all these years, and now everything is just reflecting on this new record, mm -hmm. so, which is Kairos. Awesome. So, do you uh, feel like the writing styles have changed since Igor and Max are not in the band anymore, or do you feel like you guys have kept the? I, I mean, I feel that you guys have kept the foundation and then progressed to now and mm -hmm. and does it actually bother you that people are so nostalgic about the old sepultura to how it is now doesn't bother me at all yeah i know the process i guess is kind of the same but uh of course it's different because we have two different guys and um but uh whoever's in the band at the moment and 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 really wears the sepultura shirt so they're there for a reason, and they're doing very, very well their job. So, And I guarantee that nobody would be disappointed when you see the band live. Mm -hmm. Probably most of the people will be like, whoa. <laughs> right on. So what is your set like tonight? Are you going to play a lot everything. of... Everything. Everything. Yeah, from the... Well, actually, it's a little bit shorter than we usually do because there's so many bands on the on the bill. But uh, we like to play a little bit of everything. You know, so we got in uh, two new two new songs, and it's a it's a mix. Depends on how the mood goes. We start to throw music, some different songs in the middle. How the crowd goes depends. Cool. As, uh, so we we try to follow uh, a set list, but uh, but uh, if uh, there's a need for, we throw some songs in there. Awesome. There's not a a correct rule to do it. Mm -hmm. That's, it's good to just go with the flow yeah. with it, you know, most definitely. Give me a little background of, uh, on your new drummer. I know you, he's been with the band for five years, but how did you guys meet him and decide uh, to Actually, he's a friend of uh, our sound man for years, and uh, he's from our, our hometown, my hometown, actually, Belo Horizonte, where, where the band was found. And uh, he lived in uh, L.A. for five or six years, and he graduated at uh, L.A. Music, uh, no, L.A. Academy of, of Music. So he's a excellent teacher, excellent drummer, excellent bass player, excellent guitarist. Oh, wow. And and he fits with the with the band. He came in with, uh, he's ten, about 10 years younger than uh, all of us, the rest of the band, and uh, he brought in a lot of energy, you know, and uh, it was like a boost to the band so we'll see tonight yeah I'm, well I saw some video and <laughs> I'm really something. excited about about you know his drumming and also the band and I I think you guys did you play like a new song or on one of the YouTube videos or have you probably played? yeah yeah I think uh, I saw we've something. been doing two, two new songs okay what are the titles of those songs uh, we're doing Seed and Kairos oh cool so and I've been starting to practice a little bit when we uh, do the sound check. We, we start to throw some, uh, but just you know, warming up because um, after the story go, we really gonna start to do the more the new material. Oh, cool! 
because no. it's not, it's not it's not the there's no it's still no reason to do the full because the people still don't know so mm. so we'll wait a little bit more until and they get more familiar find the with album that. right right <laughs> yeah by the album <laughs> most definitely so do you guys all write together as a team or is there certain ways that you you know <coughs> the songwriting um, uh, the the final process usually is done in, in the studio of mm -hmm. course if you have an idea at home and you record in your own no computer and bring it down it's just you know we usually record to not forget anything but uh we try to do as much as possible together mm -hmm. so that's how otherwise we want to call a band yeah uh, most definitely <laughs> so what made you want to start playing bass uh i don't know yeah actually uh, when they start they called me to get in the band i didn't even know what a bass was mm -hmm. and i didn't even know how to play and i uh, just got in with the the, around the school time and um, from there I start to to get familiar with this uh, actually I'm not familiar still with the instrument but I think we <laughs> all are still learning right yep. <laughs> but uh, in from that and uh, in a few years you know like uh, six months after I met uh, the Cavalera brothers and then we start to to hang out and from that simple to the became what it is today a long story it is a long almost story. 27 years for me i know and how do you great <laughs> how do you feel though that the metal music those bases are heavy now uh, oh, i'm yeah. just joking <laughs> no it's okay <laughs> how do you feel ha um, that the metal music ha has it changed since you started playing metal and and um, how has it you know changed in in your eyes or your ears of um professional uh, metal? there was a lot of changes uh, through those those years but I think nowadays, it's, I think everybody starts to to really go back a little bit on the on the old school. Mm -hmm. So I always never, actually, I, I never really ran away from the the old school. I really, my favorite bands, that they are most of them are from the seventies. So, you know, they're old school rock and roll dudes. But but I think it's it's a it's a big cycle now. When uh, you always have to come back and recycle yourself, and I think those, the the seventy years and, and the eighties, the beginning of the eighties were like a big influence, and it's still nowadays. You know. So, who is your favorite bass player? Yes. Oh gosh, I don't know. There's so many great, give you a hint. great bass players. <laughs> well, I don't know. That Getty Lee. Getty Lee. Uh, or one like of them. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, Lemmy. <laughs> no, the, um, I guess actually, he went like this. I, 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 <laughs> He's one of the one that I like the the most, but uh, I cannot pick one bass player. The, the bass players are musicians in in general, and they have a, a very particular. So they can be good in one and in, in one segment, but the other guy has uh, sometimes it's better. You know, but uh, Gary is a it's a big name uh, that I like, but I like Giza Butler. You know, there's no way to know Cliff Burton, uh, Chris Squire. Uh, <coughs> Jack Bruce and then Sting there's many many so uh, it's hard to pick one yeah. uh, but uh, Steve Harris you know and this, there's many if, you, if, you, if I keep going over here I'm going to tell you like 15 <laughs> names <laughs> it will be here forever right? yeah, but uh, it's, it's very hard to pick one because it's uh, each one of those guys has a, a very per particular and unique sound so I like them all awesome what festivals are you guys playing this year? Uh, out of my head, that I can think right now, it's, uh, we're gonna go the Vakin in Europe uh, and Rock in Rio. Awesome. In September on the Metal Day, so that'll be that'll be very interesting. Yeah, to do it that. So you said you're working on a DVD. Do you guys have a name for it or anything No, like it's that? a. Uh, actually, <coughs> no, we don't have a name for it yet. We've been working. The, actually, the director just left uh, on a couple of days ago. But we're trying to shoot as much material we can. We had a guy to come with us most of the uh, most of the time last year uh, in Europe, and we we we're probably gonna be using like personal footage and and keep going until try to get as much material as possible. Mm -hmm. As yeah. more, it's better. So yeah, that's right. It's I think people really like the personal like aspect of you know seeing the inside of your lives. Yeah, too, that's a, that's like a, that. yeah, that's something that uh, we we're gonna try to show something that people really 
don't know and very uh, different than uh, most of the people think about it, you know. So it sh should be interesting, I hope. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Um, what bands are you listening to now that maybe people don't really know about, um, maybe from Brazil? Uh, I don't, like I said, I like the old guys. We just uh, listened to the other day on the bus, so, uh, did a, an uh, iPod battle. <laughs> and I was asking to play some, uh, there was a hard rock band from, from my hometown, it's called Kamikaze. They don't exist anymore, but it's a very good. Everything was singing Portuguese, and uh, but I like all the most of most of uh, I like to listen to the old stuff. You know, I'm sorry. No, no, that's cool. It's, it's a good <coughs> answer. You know, sometimes you get like ideas even listening to some of the old yeah, stuff yeah. that a lot of people don't even know about, and a lot of people. Yeah, most of the mo most of the new bands that I hear, they sound like the old stuff. So yeah, I stick with the original stuff. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I've never heard of Kamikaze. So <coughs> now I know. So I'll check them out. So what's the funniest thing you've ever seen while playing, maybe out in the crowd or backstage, or if there's a prank or something that you can talk about that sticks out in your mind since you've been playing in Sepultura? Uh, one that just came up to my head right now, it's one time we play in Japan. Mm -hmm. and there was uh, this crazy Japanese guy, dressed, uh, was in the Chaos AD era, uh -huh. and he, uh, I think it was Chaos AD. Yeah, he was dressing up as a mummy <laughs> on the front of the stage. I was like, that's pretty funny. That's the one of the things that can uh, come out of my head right now. Uh -huh. Did you guys get any footage of him? <laughs> I think I have. I have to go through my, see, this is one of the things about the movie. I have to go through yeah. all those high eight tapes that I have, like about, I would say, close to 200 tapes. Wow. So, that would so, be great for the DVD. Yes, <laughs> some of them I hope. And here's the question: I know you get all the time, but is there no, a, no, exactly. okay, there it is. No, no, no reunion. No, <laughs> yeah, I read the news. So. Yeah, sorry, I had to ask. No problem. Uh huh. Um, I had to answer. I know, and you did great. <laughs> <laughs> so quit asking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so what advice would you give a new musician starting out? Uh, the device is play live as much as you can. That's how you're gonna get your experience mostly, and be honest what do you do, and believe it on it. You know, a lot uh, sometimes that can really happen to you. Look at us here after 27 years. Yeah, still going strong. Still man. going strong. Yeah, Kairos, gotta check that out. Kairos. Kairos, and also, uh, you know, what I wanted to ask you was. What band would you like to share the stage with that you have? Rush. Rush. You hear that, Getty Lee? <laughs> yeah. Kurt? And tell me what the future has to hold for Sepultura, please. Uh, right now, it's a lot of touring. I hope uh, with this record that we have a two-year uh, cycle and uh, many, many shows as possible. Awesome. That's the, the life on the road. You know? it's, uh, play for, for, for many, as, man, as many people as possible we can play. Too. Awesome. And come back to America. Don't... Don't be so far away for so long. Yeah, don't, don't, you know, don't wait. It's to not our fault. America. Come here every year. It's not <laughs> our fault. Twice a year. Trust no. me. We're what, trying. I know, I know. You do, you're here now, so that's yeah. what matters. <laughs> what would you like to say to your fans? Uh, thank you for the support for, for this all these years, and it and, uh, means a lot. You know, it's, we're here because one of the reasons because of you guys. So. Thank you. And would you give me bass lessons? I don't even know <laughs> the basis for me. I need to learn more. <laughs> we all do. I know I do. <laughs> well, thank you for thank your you. time. I totally appreciate uh, this. And I can't wait to see Sepultura play again. All right. And I think I saw you guys for the first time at the Berkeley Square, like way back when. Yeah. yeah. That's a long time ago. Yes, it is. I don't remember. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're living for today, right now. Yeah, yeah. Carlos. Carlos. Thank you.